When roses look good, they are amazing. When they look bad, they look terrible. So how on earth do you keep them in tip-top shape, except of course, when it's their sleep time, which is June, July, when they get their hard pruning, which is really important in order to regenerate the growth for the following season. Starkey's Rose Food is a specially formulated, concentrated rose food, which is broken up into nitrogen, potassium, and phosphorus, which are going to give your roses everything they need. The Starkey's Rose Food also promotes healthy growth, good root development, plus flowers, and also builds resistance to foliar diseases, which is one of the biggest issues we find when growing roses more in the tropical areas. The typical analysis of the Starkey's Rose Food packed in a punch is 12% nitrogen, 8.3% phosphorus, potassium 14.7%, plus it's got a whole lot of trace elements of iron, manganese, boron, zinc, copper, and molybdenum. The rose food comes in this convenient doy pack, which has a zip lock at the top, which you simply just squeeze together and reseal after use. It also has in here, there it is, a little measuring cup, which in here, full to the top is 10 grams. So for the foliar feeding, you would use 20 grams into five liters of water, that's two of these. And if you're using the soil drench, it would be five grams. So that's half of this into five liters of water as a good soil drench. Rose food can also be used with organic Kelpak, which is a plant growth regulator seaweed extract. It gives you extra healthier dark green leaves. Application of the rose food is really easy. To apply it as a soil drench, it's five grams, which is using the little measuring spoon that they give you. One spoon is 10 grams, so it would literally just be half of that. There we go. Pop it into five liters, give it a good stir, and then apply it around the root zone of the rose plant. And the root zone is important to identify. It's from the stem up until the outer leaves. So that area, with it being in a pot, it's much easier to control, but remember in your garden, your root zone is from the outer leaves all the way up to where the main stem of the rose bush is. The folio spray is as it describes. It's used to spray the foliage of the roses. This is done every two weeks at a rate of 20 grams into five liters of water. Check out your pressure sprayer that you've got and whatever capacity it holds, adjust your application. And it's as simple as taking the little measuring spoon, popping it in, giving it a good stir. And a good shake. And apply it till the foliage is really dripping because in that way, the nutrition is going directly into the leaves, which will give you good, strong, healthy green leaves.